this week, so y'all be much in prayer for Brother Will. He'll be bringing the message today. If you'll stand, turn to page 476. We'll take up a morning collection. Brandon, how about getting one next? <laughs> Yes. 
four. <laughs> Yeah. 
we go any further, I do want to go to the Lord and pray. I'm not Brother David Martin. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for another day that the Lord come to our house, Lord, and worship you, Lord. Lord, we're thankful for the many blessings of life that you've given us, Lord. We, Lord, we take so much for granted, Lord. Lord, we thank you for the beautiful thing in this morning, Lord, the spirit, Lord, that we're able to feel. Lord, Lord God, I pray that you give us the will of us, Lord, and set us on a, on a on pedestal, Lord, and fill us up with your spirit, Lord, and let him preach what you have for us to hear, Lord. Lord, forgive us where we fail you. Lord, be with our pastor if he's on vacation this week, Lord, let them have a safe trip. Lord, be with each person, each member of this church, Lord. Be with all those that are sick, Lord, and fighting different diseases and battles, Lord, of their own. Lord, I pray that you know the situation, Lord, and only you can handle it. Lord, forgive us for we fail you. Go with us, watch over us, and keep us safe. For it's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 David. Amen. Look at you in the 16th verse. says, These are murmurs, complainers, walking after their own lust, and their mouths speak as great swelling words, having men's persons, and admiration because of advantage. But beloved, remember ye the words which were spoken before of the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ, how that they told you there should be mockers in the last time who should walk after their own ungodly lusts. These be they who separate themselves, sensual, not having the Spirit. But ye, beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith and praying in the Holy Ghost, Keep yourselves in the love of God, looking uh, for the mercy of, of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. And some and of some have compassion, making a difference, and others save with fear, pulling them out of the fire, hating even the garment spotted by the flesh. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to pre present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To thee, only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen. And God bless the reading of his word. And as we read this uh, the other night, uh, when we tried to uh, pray and study a little bit about uh, this morning service uh, we read this and the thought that came to mind is uh, we should not uh, be surprised we should not uh, be surprised when we cut on the news or uh, we get on our phones or uh, we look out uh, at this world and we see uh, the dark and the sinful uh, things that go on and take place so uh, you say well that's awful bad but if you look here and you flip throughout this whole book uh, we are told that sin has entered the world uh, there in the garden when uh, Adam and Eve could not of uh, all directions. And ever since then, uh, from there till the end of time, there will be uh, sin in this world. Uh, it should not uh, be a surprise to any one of us. Uh, we like uh, to sweep it under the rug and uh, turn a cold shoulder to it. And we like to act like it's not here, but uh, we shouldn't. Uh, be surprised and, and as I thought about uh, that the other night I thought about how uh, we look out at this world and we see uh, the things that are happening and the things that uh, the people are doing and the people are leaning towards and the people believe in and it, at first it does startle us and it, it is surprising that uh, someone can be uh, that far out but it's really uh, not that much of a surprise the Lord God Almighty told us throughout uh, His Holy Word that sin is here and and just think about this for a minute. Uh, have you ever uh, seen somebody doing something and seen somebody maybe try to put something together or complete a task and you're just uh, sitting back and you think, well, I've got a better way that for that to be done. You see them up there struggling uh, just doing it. You're sitting back looking and thinking, I could do that a completely different way and it would be done a whole lot more efficient and a whole lot uh, more uh, a whole lot easier and would get done with a lot 
uh, less stress. I think uh, a lot of times in our lives when we do look out uh, and we see uh, what's going on around us, so uh, we as mankind like to sit back and we like to say, well, I could do that a little bit different. It'd be a little bit easier. I'd do that a little bit different and it'd be better. We like to sit back and we like to look out and we like to point fingers and say, well, if he hadn't have done that, this would have happened or if she hadn't have done that. And we look out at our family members, our loved ones who are falling out of this world, uh, the depression, anxiety, addiction. We like to sit back and we like to say, well, if they hadn't have done that, maybe they wouldn't be in that boat or if they hadn't have done this. Maybe they'd be all right, uh, but God help us today, church. Uh, what does the Word of God say? Uh, I don't care what you've come up with or what you uh, think you know. Uh, there is no better way uh, to do it. There is uh, no better way to walk this earth uh, than to keep ourselves in the love of God. Uh, and witness and testify and pray in the Holy Ghost uh, for those who are not as fortunate as us. If we are saved by God's grace, uh, then we know what it's like to be lost. Oh, uh, we know that it's nothing we did to be saved. We know that it's not a plan that we come up with. So why do we look out at the world and try to come up with a plan? Uh, it's Instead of just praying in the Holy Ghost and telling people about Christ, because there is nothing that you can come up with to present yourself or anyone else faultless before the presence of His glory with exceeding uh, joy. If you're here this morning uh, and you will not uh, be presented faultless uh, in front of His glory, if you're, you know. God help us. Uh, have you ever thought about so many times we hear people say, well, he just needs to have a come to Jesus meeting. Or me and him uh, just need to have a come to Jesus meeting. Well, God help us today, church. A come to Jesus meeting isn't something that just happens when we've gone down a little bad road or we've got a little bit far away. A come to Jesus meeting. It's something that should happen each and every day at every moment of our lives. Uh, if you're here this morning and you say, I need a uh, come to Jesus meeting, it's been a little too long saved or lost. There's an altar of repentance where he will meet you if you will only uh, step out on faith. Does it go with a verse of song? I pray that if you're here and you're not, uh, no, Jesus Christ, that you would come and accept him and have an eternal home uh, in heaven before it's too late, as they say. 546, top of the page. Thank you. 